This is ABC 7 News at 11. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, I'm Haley Wilgus. Thank you for joining us tonight. Topping our news at this hour, the back and forth over a controversial proposed development along the Sarasota Bayfront continues with local developer Carlos Baruf meeting with the Sarasota County Advisory Board tonight for a vote on changes to the Aqua by the Bay development plan. The board voting against his plan three to one to raise the height of some of those buildings proposed. A controversial development plan, the Aqua by the Bay proposal has been the subject of scrutiny for years with many wanting the area to remain undeveloped or turned into a park. This has been a this project has been going on for years in various phases and it's always been because it's a huge like one and a half mile uh, bayfront. So it's because of that location it's been very controversial in the community uh, on what what they want and what they can't do related to that. The original maximum height approved for a building on that development was 95 feet, but the developer was looking to increase that to 145 feet. The final decision on the change is expected to be made by the full Sarasota County Commission next week. A Manatee County judge has denied bond for Daryl Hanna Jr. The man police say shot and killed two people at a Longboat Key Resort less than a week ago. Detectives now looking into what have, may have led to the deaths of the security guard and manager at the Zoda Beach Resort. A former security guard himself, a friend of Hanna's, says he was upset with his employer, Victory Security, for only giving him two days of work a week, which led to his resignation. He wanted me to hook him up with my boss, which I did, and, uh, you know, then this happened, so my boss was like, nope, it's off the table. He, he was a good guy. I liked him, you know. He was my friend, and I don't know what could drive him to do this. Police are still investigating a motive, including these personal ties. And now we're going to get a check on our forecast and head over to Bob. Thanks, Haley. A pretty quiet night. We have a few storms offshore mainly right now, but still that low pressure area continues to work its way off toward the northwest. Right now, you can see that rotation right there. A lot of tropical moisture, but there's some dry air kind of bottled up just to the northwest of us, and the two are kind of battling it out right now between the uh, warm, moist air down to the south. And you can see the showers are starting to form a little bit further off to the south where that warm, moist air is in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And you can see uh, just offshore of Inglewood, some lightning strikes there. These could actually intensify somewhat, but they're going to stay offshore. Uh, there's a slight chance for a few isolated cells popping up here and there on some uh, surface boundaries that have been developing. Uh, right now, the heaviest storms on the east coast, and nothing going on too much right here. I mentioned again, uh, the moisture continues to uh, stream in from the east, but mainly to the south of us. Currently, we have uh, clear skies, just a few clouds around. It's warm, 83 degrees, and the dew point is up there. Pressure is rising now at 30.10 inches. Well, more on our weather and take a look at the tropics coming up in a few minutes. Haley. Thank you, Bob. A hit and run chase in California caught on camera. A motorcycle rider witnessing a driver slam into several cars before speeding away. The biker racing after him trying to get police to follow. Here's ABC's Kenneth Moten with that amazing footage. The daring highway chase Whoa. caught on camera. Whoa. This black Mercedes sideswiping a car, slamming into others near San Bernardino, California. Hey. The badly damaged Mercedes hey. taking off. A motorcyclist GoPro attached, jumping into action. The rider's dramatic call to 911. I'm in pursuit of a hit and run driver. The Mercedes losing its front bumper. His bumper just fell out and almost hit me. The motorcycle is keeping a safe distance for 20 miles until Highway Patrol finally takes over. I was wrong and I should have pulled up. And I just panicked. Troopers say 62 year old Nathaniel Sylvester arrested, suspected of DUI. I didn't want to get involved, but I knew I had to do the right thing and try to chase him down before he hurt or killed anybody else. Highway Patrol troopers say people shouldn't chase down suspects, but they're thankful this good Samaritan was able to do it safely. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Los Angeles. Suncoast students are hopefully already in bed tonight and settling into their school year routines. It was the first day of class for Manatee County students, and for many it was a day filled with emotion. For some, excitement at seeing familiar faces, while for others, going back to class can be stressful with the thought of homework and tests looming. 
I'm excited to see friends, but <laughs> not excited to wake up at 4.45 in the oh. morning. <laughs> I think it'll be a great year, new friends, um, exciting. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's the last weekend of summer for other Sarasota County students going back to school bright and early Monday morning. And some teachers in Sarasota getting a little lesson of their own today. About 40 new Booker Elementary, Middle and High School teachers getting a lesson into where their students come from. The Booker Nation organization giving them a first-hand look at their students' community. The goal to, better, to build a better understanding between teachers and students. When we understand the various cultures, we begin to connect with them. And I think it promotes civility, not only here at Booker High School, between our teachers and our students, between the students and the students as well. You know, I've lived here for a while, and I thought I knew a lot of Sarasota history, and I, and I really didn't. I had read occasional news clippings. What the tour did is it, it brought it to life for me. The tour took teachers on a walking tour throughout Newtown with stops at 12 historic sites along MLK Way and south to the Rosemary District. What a great experience. The Manatee YMCA is not just offering fitness programs now. The organization has a way to save you money and raise money at the same time. The YMCA held a ribbon cutting today for its new nifty thrift shop on 10th Street East in Palmetto. There are all sorts of items up for sale, including clothes, furniture, books, electronics, and more. All proceeds will go toward helping families and children in need in Manatee County. Y members will get a 10% off discount in the store. You know, we raise money every year, but we have a gap in the need and with what we've been able to raise here in Manatee County. So it's about $100,000. So this shop was invented and created in order to take care of that gap. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan emceed today's ribbon cutting. And straight ahead, Bob will join us again with the official Suncoast forecast and President Trump shining a spotlight on North Korea, the investigations into Russian interference, and the future of health care. Plus, a revelation in the Penn State hazing trial, how possible new evidence may lead to even more charges. Growing up, my mom was afraid of the water, something she did not want me to feel. So I enrolled Missy in swim lessons. It changed my life. Missy Franklin. And now you can do the same for someone that you love. There's nothing more precious than your child's well-being. So act now before it's too late. Make us swim! I'm glad I did. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Visit USASwimmingFoundation.org to find, get, or give a swim lesson. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Predoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Predoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Start your day with a new Good Morning Suncoast team. Weekday starting at 5 a.m. 
Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. So we need to make a quick correction here from the story that we had at the top of the show about the Aqua by the Bay. It is Sarasota Bay is what that's right. called in that area, but it is going to be the Manatee County Planning Commission. Those, you know, that was what made the denial right. of those height regulations. So just to be clear about that, Manatee County, not Sarasota County. So. Right. Uh, Sarasota Bay have uh, been very active in terms of yeah. some uh, some fish. We're going to talk a little bit more about in that just later. Just a moment, yeah. Uh, but also we have had a not very active day today with thunderstorms. We've had a few around. There were a few showers moving through. Uh, we'll show you that in the water vapor imagery, a little closer look. This is a big pass. Fred Seeger getting this beautiful shot of sun setting again, and this one uh, coming from Cindy Desmond out near Clark Road, I-75 in Sarasota. A few clouds there looking like they might bring some rainfall. Anna Maria, though, not much going on at all today. Just calm conditions out there. Warm temperatures, highs near 90 degrees. The water temperature right around 90 degrees, so uh, things are really starting to uh, Heat up all throughout the Gulf of Mexico. This is uh, getting close to the peak, uh, just a few weeks away of hurricane season. And as you may have heard yesterday, NOAA has upped its prediction for the rest of the season uh, to be very active. Now, what we're looking at is uh, an area of low pressure, an upper level low, with all the moisture and storms down to our south right now. But you can see the little spin and rotation right there. Luckily, it's over land right now, so it's not going to. Uh, strengthen rapidly and there's some dry air to the west so uh, not a big concern 10 percent chance of it developing into something tropical and look at the rain down here off of venice you can see that moving to the south right now really exploding though over the gulf of mexico with a warm water temperature and it's actually known as a land breeze so the land now has cooled down to uh, mid to upper 80s now but the water temperature is still 90 so that kind of draws air that way and causes the lift to occur it's the exact opposite we see in the afternoon. Uh, what we have is the uh, radar picture showing the showers offshore. Not much going on in Manatee County and uh, throughout Sarasota County. There's a chance we could see some isolated showers and storms develop out here in the Gulf of Mexico and then work their way onshore during uh, the morning hours just after sunrise. We'll see how that plays out. I mentioned the moisture content. You can see a lot of moisture here kind of working its way to the west. And then all of a sudden, this slot of dry air comes down and Kind of shuts everything down over Manatee and Sarasota counties right now. I think the moisture, though, will eventually win out and we'll have a little bit better chance for at least some scattered storms tomorrow. No rain out, uh, but nonetheless, we will see some showers scattered about, as I mentioned, the morning coast and then possibly inland later in the day. 89, that's what it feels like right now. Uh, here we are just after 11 o'clock. That's because of that high dew point temperature. 80 degrees in Orlando, 83 in Miami now, and 79 in Jacksonville. So you see the picture. It's warm everywhere across the state. Now, the wind flow will be very light tomorrow. So the storms that develop may sit around for a while, not move much, and then kind of rain themselves out uh, as a result of the very light wind flow. Now, we'll pick up in the afternoon as that sea breeze develops right near the coast, but generally 5 to 10 mile an hour winds anticipated uh, with the uh, overall wind flow uh, up and down the sun coast. Now, in the tropics, you know, we got rid of Franklin. Franklin made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane, the first one of the season. Uh, now we're watching this area. Still, not much of a chance of it developing because there's some very dry air out ahead of it. But if, even if it were to develop, uh, more than likely move off to the northwest, then the north, and then to the northeast. And when you get this kind of grouping of all the forecast models, you're pretty much sure, assured that it's going to follow that path. Uh, and there's no real threat of it having a huge impact on our weather at all. Hurricane Center keeping that at a 40% chance of developing into the next system. But uh, even if it were to develop, as I said, it should stay away from Florida for the most part. Uh, showers and storms in the morning possible, and then uh, watch how they kind of drift inland in the afternoon. So I think that'll be the case late afternoon, and it uh, looks like uh, we'll have inland storms uh, during the morning hours, the possibility of a few coastal showers. Well, the boating forecast is pretty much the same as it has been. Very light out there. Uh, seas running less than two feet, the water temperature at 90, and the forecast tonight it does uh, call for just a few showers, mainly offshore, otherwise partly cloudy skies, and then uh, 78 for a low temperature, not too low, 91 for a high tomorrow, and then the extended forecast calling for showers and storms scattered about uh, over the next seven days. Well, last week we showcased uh, the pier in Anna Maria, the city pier right there, very nice pier it is, and 
Today, we went a little bit further north. Here's more. Well, you don't need a boat to get to the middle of Tampa Bay, but a car to get to this great fishing spot. This is the South Skyway Fishing Pier, and just for four bucks a car and four dollars per person, you can spend the day, that's right, 24 hours, trying to catch some quality fish. The GM who manages the pier is Jamie, who tells me the fishing has been slow as of late, but the anglers are still bringing them in. Um, right now we're catching Spanish mackerel. You can see a lot of people are on the pier for a slow day like this. So the weekends are always busy, but this time of year with school starting, first day of school, not many people traveling. So parks are kind of slow today. It may be slow now, but that's not the case for the rest of the year. Nearly a half million people visited both the North and South Skyway fishing piers just last year. And here is one of those happy customers from Bradenton. Because, you know, I've never fished here, and this, this place is phenomenal. So this bridge is, you know, nice and long. Plus, you got the store, you got the bait shop. The old Skyway Bridge is two miles long, so you can pick a spot, and if it's not hot, you can pick up and move. We catch pompano, bonita, lots and lots of mackerel. Uh, we have king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, of course. These guys were going crazy with catching, bringing in one after another as they hit a nice Spanish nice mac attack. Look at that. It's only a short drive up from the Sun Coast, and the bait shop is open 24-7. And you don't need a fishing license. The Skyway Fishing Pier is ranked as one of the top 10 He's in Florida. So come on up and try your luck. All right, good job, man. That guy was having some fun. It just so happened he was catching all sorts of mackerel right then uh, as I pulled up. Cortland Hunt, look at this guy. He's got a lot of mangrove snappers right there that he caught recently this week. He is the grandson of Captain, Captain Scott Moore, of course, the Moore fishing family up there in Manatee County. Beach fishing adventures. Steve Herrick always shines with a picture or two. He caught this snook for this, or she caught the snook. He put her on the fish, and this one too. Another nice snook. Snook season opens September 1st, so you got to let him go. But this is a first catch for this young man, Andre, catching a triple tail. And he's got one up on me. I've never caught a triple tail. And they're usually uh, hiding out by uh, little pieces of debris out there in the water sometimes, individual. And a uh, nice catch there on breakwater charters, Brian Marcy, Captain Brian Marcy. So they're still catching out there. Uh, the Spanish mackerel and the mangrove snapper seem to be the fish that they're catching right now. Okay, so if you, that's what you're looking for. And I think it's great that you find these spots, Bob, that you don't have to have a boat for because I think a lot of people right. think, well, I can't fish because I don't have a boat. Right, so. that, that's nice, too, because I was telling the kid that, you know, guy, we you can go out for two miles in different directions. You mm -hmm. know, normally you need a boat to get that far. That's yes, true. Yep. All right. right, thank you, Bob. A bombshell accusation at a hearing for members of a Penn State fraternity. 18 fraternity brothers accused of getting Tim Piazza severely intoxicated and then leaving him to die after he fell down a flight of stairs. A detective revealing that footage of Piazza during one of the fraternity's hazing rituals was purposely deleted two days after his death. That makes us really wonder what could have possibly been on this tape that's worse than what was left behind. No word yet if that missing footage can be recovered by investigators, but the family attorney says this could lead to more indictments and more charges. Now to the latest developments on North Korea. President Trump doubling down on his fiery rhetoric and weighing in on multiple hot button issues. ABC's Emily Rao reports from Washington. From North Korea to Russia, even the blame game with Mitch McConnell, President Trump covered it all. He does something in Guam. It will be an event the likes of which nobody's seen before, what will happen in North Korea. Strong words for North Korea's leader responding to Kim Jong-un's specific threat to launch missiles near the U.S. island of Guam and not backing down on his talk of fire and fury. It's about time that somebody stuck up for the people of this country and for the people of other countries. So uh, if anything, maybe that statement wasn't tough enough. The president tight-lipped on possible next steps, a sentiment echoed by Secretary of Defense James Mattis. I don't tell the enemy in advance what I'm going to do. But President Trump not shy about praising Russian President Vladimir Putin. I want to thank him because we're trying to cut down on payroll. Responding to Putin's expelling of more than 700 American embassy workers in retaliation for U.S. sanctions over Russia's election meddling. The president also taking shots at Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Our new president had, of course, not been in this line of work before, and I think had excessive expectations. That comment spurring this one. Mitch, get to work and let's get it done.
Then doling out more criticism. I'm very disappointed in Mitch. But if he gets these bills passed, I'll be very happy with him. I'll be the first to admit it. Going after McConnell could be a risky political gamble for President Trump. Already, a lot of top Republicans are coming out in support of the Senate Majority Leader, saying the president has to take some responsibility, too. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington. Sports is next, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel. Look at what we can do when we apply ourselves. My wife and I were clicking around the other night, and on came Footloose. And we watched like the last 20 minutes of it, and I was good. I, I, was, I was very good. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Now, sports. It's the final major championship of the year, the PGA Championship, kicking off at Quail Hollow Golf Course in Charlotte, North Carolina. But despite the great weather, round one proved to be a little more difficult than expected, with only 25 of the 156 competitors in the field scoring under par. On the third hole, Brooks Kepka chips in the birdie to move to one under. DA points drains the birdie putt on the fifth to get to three under. And Rory McIlroy struggling with the chip on the 14th coming up way short. It leads to a double bogey. So here's how the leaderboard looks heading into Friday. We have Olsen and Kevin Kaisner leading the pack at four under par. Grayson Murray, Gary Woodland, Brooks Kepka, and Chris Stroud. And DA points at three under. 
The Tampa Bay Rays at home tonight taking on the Cleveland Indians. The Indians get on the board first, but in the fifth, the Rays get on the board and take the lead in the eighth with three runs. The final score, four to one, Rays win. The Duke men's basketball coach has canceled this month's exhibition trip to the Dominican Republic after an announcement that he will need some total knee replacement surgery. The school announcing that Mike Krzyzewski will have the procedure done this weekend on his right leg. The coach decided on the surgery after three days straight of working with the team made him realize that his knee condition would not be sustainable through next season. After the surgery, he will begin a rehabilitation program at Duke. This will be the sixth surgery in 17 months for the 70-year-old coach. We wish him luck. That's a look at sports. We'll have our lot of numbers right after this. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. So, how many of us feel completely confident about our financial future? Let's hear some specifics. Yes, go ahead. I don't want to be a burden to my kids. When my husband died, it took almost all of our savings to give him a proper funeral. I honestly don't know if there's enough to bury me, let alone cover expenses should something happen. Okay. Let's talk solutions. One thing you may want to get in place is a guaranteed whole life insurance policy from United of Omaha Life Insurance Company, which is a mutual of Omaha company. This is affordable coverage, which provides a cash payment, which can cover funeral expenses, bills, and other financial needs, all from a company that's been doing the right thing for its policyholders for over 90 years. Yes, sir. I need medical exams, you know, things like that. No medical exams. If you're between the ages of 45 and 85, you can call this number or you can go online and apply for coverage up to $25,000. United of Omaha Guaranteed Whole Life Insurance. Call or go online now. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios. Britney Spears was performing at Planet Hollywood in Vegas Wednesday night when a fan jumped on stage. Security guards quickly tackled this man, pinning him down with the help of backup dancers. The man's intentions were unclear, but it was a shocking moment for the singer as she was ushered backstage as the man was handcuffed and then escorted out. The show later resumed. Wednesday, Wednesday night's performance was Spears' first since taking a break to tour in Asia for the summer. 
Jimmy Kimmel says his son is doing great. The late night host revealed back in April on Jimmy Kimmel Live that his newborn son had undergone surgery for a rare heart defect. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Kimmel said three month old Billy will need two more heart surgeries. And despite some backlash, Kimmel says he has no regrets about going public about his son's health. We've all heard of dating sites, Match.com, Bumble, Tinder, but what about animals looking for love? That's where an Ohio zoo comes in. The zoo is looking to play matchmaker for several endangered species to, that it's currently home to following a recent baby boom. Wildlife experts are already looking for the future of those animals and their species. The zoo is using a database to track potential matches. More than 450 species are in the program so far. And just like with people, every match doesn't always mean compatibility. <laughs> they have to go on a couple dates, they have to go to the movies, yeah, they have to go out to eat, out. you know, see how it works <laughs> out. This reminds me of when Max was here and he did a story on that capybara at uh, Big Cat Habitat. Oh, yeah, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think his name's Bob. I do, I do think it is. <laughs> Bob Cat. And he, Bob, has, he has a huge private enclosure there, like a swimming pool. <laughs> And he was looking for love because he's lonely. But he's, yeah. I, when I went there last, he was still alone. Oh. So find Bob a match while you're at it. <laughs> the capybara, not Bob Harrigan. See you tomorrow. <laughs>